Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Meta Dimensions. So this run has gone overnight. I'm going to buy my time theorems. And now we have 98. I'm going to eternity. For 7 octillion eternity points. I'm going to buy a lot of these. Like, maybe that many. I can get 2 levels of that. And I'm going to max my time dimensions. As for eternity challenges, I think the next one I'm going to do is four. So, um, I'm going to skew when we have the infinities for it. And I think we're already in an eternity challenge for build and we have enough time theorems. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start grinding infinities here. Oh, and another thing I did was I set this to 1e10 to maybe try and do crunches a bit faster. Um, I don't know if it worked. It seemed about the same. Um, we're now set, uh, set it up to grind infinities. We need 200 million, so yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I have over 200 million infinities, which is un enough to unlock the challenge. I'm going to turn this off because I'm not stupid, and I'm going to get the challenge, and I'm going to start it all in, wait, um, that doesn't really matter, I just have to do it in eight infinities or less, so, um, I usually like to do a quick infinity at the beginning, cause, I mean, well, not really quick, but, I mean, just cause there's nothing you can really do with it, so yeah, and I think I will see when we've done the challenge, so yeah, see you then. Okay guys, I'm back, and I've beaten the challenge. I did it in only four infinities, because I, instead of doing quick infinities, which I probably could have sort of done, I just um decided to do it on the safe side. And I could get even more infinity points in uh, under eight infinities. This challenge has been pretty, we've been like pretty over like where we need to be in this challenge. So I'm going to beat the challenge, and the next one I want to do is five times three. So... Um, I'll just go like this. Um, we need 130. I'll just sort of keep that in mind. Um, you can get these. And so I need 188 galaxies. Doesn't seem too hard. 181. I don't think replicated galaxies count, by the way. There we go, 188. So I'm gonna start the challenge. Shouldn't be too bad. I don't know if I'm ready for Eternity Challenge 8 yet, but... Um... We'll see. I should be paying attention to that. Um... Okay, I need to be getting my replicated galaxies. So I think that just like before... I will see you when I feed in the challenge, so yeah, see you then. Okay guys, I'm back, and with the help of getting some replicated galaxies, I've managed to beat the challenge. So let's see how many times there is. I have 230. So I think we are ready for Eternity Challenge 8, but before that, I want to do 7 times 2. So I'm going to just do my usual thing. The normal dimensions path, which is conveniently the cheap one, is good for Eternity Challenge 7. We need a uh, um 115 time theorems. I'll try to keep that in mind. We have just enough actually. So the requirement is e 800,000 antimatter. So because we're using the active path, I'm gonna hold R. Do some quick crunches, and e 800,000 shouldn't be hard. Um. Um. 750, 760, 770. Yeah, I just need replicated galaxies. Here we go. So, um, this is the challenge where you either do it super easily or come to a screeching halt. So let's hope we do it. It looks possible. The goal is E2530 infinity points. I'm gonna get replicated galaxies, and yeah, it seems to be possible. Yeah, it's probably gonna be doable. Um,. Yep, that's the challenge. And so, 
Now I'm going to try Attorney Child Jade, and this one's a bit of a special one. Because what you want to do... How expensive is it? 115 like before. What you want to do is... I think it's just a normal build. You want to not get this steady. Um, so we need E4000 infinity points. Hopefully it's possible. Because this study makes the replicanti times 10 times slower, so I, w I want to get all my replicanti and replicated galaxies in the challenge before um, getting the rest of my studies. I know it's sort of a weird way to do things, but it's how you do a turn in a challenge 8. It's mostly because of what the challenge is. Not because you have less infinity points, so you can get less replicanti and stuff. It'll all make sense once we started. And the requirement is E4000 infinity points, which is sort of taunting me right now. I really hope I'm not going to have to get this study. Maybe I could get this study just to unlock the challenge. Um, but then not use it for the actual challenge. Okay, I really need to be getting my replicanti galaxies. I just made them ten times slower. That's what's happening. Um so um we need thirty five. It's not great. But yeah I'll see when we've got thirty five. Oh wait, um, guys, I'm just going to get these studies here, that will probably help. There we go. So I'm going to respec my studies, and, um, and then don't get this study, unlock the challenge. And then the problem is you can only upgrade Infinity Dimensions 50 times and Remlin Candy upgrades 40 times. So it's more of a strategic eternity challenge than a slow one. I think the auto buyers automatically turn off, but I'm going to do that just in case. So we're going to do it. And because we can only upgrade Replicanti upgrades 40 times, that's why it's hard. So I'm going to do a few crunches just so I can actually afford my purchases. And you want to do 50 in the first Infinity Dimension. And because the Infinity Challenge 7 reward is producing 8 Infinity Dimensions for you, it's pretty essential that you do this challenge before this one. The reason why we're putting them in one is because it has the highest multiplier per 10 dimensions, and I think you'll turn these back on. As for the Replicanti, we want to get this to 10%. We want to get, um, I don't think we need galaxies, but we want to just get as many as we can here. And later on, in later completions, we're going to need galaxies. And then we want to wait for infinite Replicanti, and then get the rest of our studies. So yeah, see you then. Okay guys, I'm back and I've got infinite replicanti, so I'm going to get the rest of my studies and that should hopefully help. So, um, the, what's the goal? E1300 infinity points, that's the challenge completed. Um, so I think I'll set it, set it up to do a production run. And the reward is that Infinity power powers up Replicanti Galaxy, so that's really good. I said 6 and 8 have the best rewards. There are a lot that have really good ones, but I I just think 6 and 8 are the best. Um, so, um, I'm just going to set this normally. So, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye!